Well, in part, I mean, you say P.J. Hall can shoot it well. He has historically, has not in conference play. Only 23% from three in conference. It's going to have to knock him down here today. Reese Beekman with a long two and a much improved shooter. This Cavalier team has been one of the worst offensive teams in Tony Bennett's tenure, but much better of late. And McNeely in the lane has his first two. Guys, thank you. We continue our afternoon of ACC basketball here in Clemson, where Reese Beekman's miss is flushed by Ryan Dunn, who went over the top of his teammate. A 9-8 Virginia lead. Kevin Brown, Chris Spatola with you. Virginia, winners of five straight, the longest streak in the ACC. Clemson, just 4-5 and five in league play after a brilliant non-conference. Since he started, Virginia has started to win. Defense! Defense! Groves again, his second three-point try, and this one's pure. A career-high six. A really good skip pass. And that's one of those guys, again, that stretch four becomes a mismatch. Early in the possession, straight line drive. Another good luck, and Groves with a straight, sweet stroke from deep. That's eight early. You're closing out, leaving a little space. And then you get a little pin down, big to big. And he would sub a lot early in the game, too, because guys, I mean, it's just so much that goes into it and in and around it. I mean, even when Clemson's been able to get it there, it's been tough sledding at the basket. I mean, Ryan Dunn, as you said. Gerard gets around McNeely in the minor who rejects his shot. Their body's all over the floor. They want to force McNeely to hit that shot. Tough one off balance. The second basket, he's two for six. Gerard pickpocketed by Beekman, his third steal. They lead by at least five into the break. Beekman sets up Groves off the shot fade. Wow. Groves drills a three. It's the Jake Groves week all across the land in the ACC. Virginia leads by eight. What a flare screen. And I mean, Jake Groves has Ian Shefflin's head ringing. Chase Hunter's at his best. You know, downhill in transition, especially if you don't stop the basketball. McNeely can't give him space in the mid-range. And McNeely's got a couple of buckets here in the half. Eight points total. Beekman getting a breather right now. Rhodey and Harris are the Virginia guards, along with Murray. Harris feeds Minor. He got contested by Hall and finished through the contact. Shefflin's got a dozen. Rhodey for three. Andrew Rohde, just a 26% three-point shooter. They're back on top against Red Hot Virginia. They got Beetle in the game, guarding McNeely, who hits a tough step back, too. And the backboard. And then McNeely coming off here. What a tough shot and a big shot. If you're Clemson, you've got to finish the possession with a defensive rebound. He's been searching, finds McNeely, he's fouled, he hits a three! Oh, what a moment for your first three-pointer of the game! Point lead, searching for a major quad one road win, trying to put Virginia in a really good NCAA tournament position at the beginning of February. Seven to shoot, here's Beekman. He's been the man all season. Feeds Miner. Dunn is there for the tip. Sneak attack for a two possession lead. The offensive glass, he never stops playing. Two winning plays. I mean, the save from out of bounds that got him a bucket. 